Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on anubavtrainings.com. In our last episode of this video series, we discussed about creating our first CAP application using SAP CDS Development Kit in our local machine using VS Code tool. We have added a table for storing billionaires data. Along with that, we have also added the sample CSV file. And right after that, we created a simple service. And finally, after building this service, we had added a UI module. We have tested this entire application using a local SQLite database. And in today's episode, we are going to connect to Postgres SQL database in local machine. So as I told you, the main advantage of CAP application, it is database agnostic, which means as a developer, you do not need to go through changes in your source code to adapt or connect to multiple databases. So by far you saw in the previous episode, I had connected our PostgreSQL or sorry, our SQLite database to our system. That is what we have done. So let me just highlight the connectivity, what was done so far. So, so far your CAP application, which you had built, is connected to the SQLite database. Now, I want to remove this connection and connect to the PostgreSQL or Postgres database. Postgres is a very powerful database. In fact, SAP also provides a Postgre backing service in SAP BTP Cloud Foundry environment, which later on we can use to connect and deploy our application, which is what also we will look at in this series. Now, I don't want to completely remove this connection with SQLite. I would like to give an option to our user as in how and what they want to use actually. So sometime our user may want to use the Postgre SQL database and sometime they would like to do it uh, as a developer. You would like to do it with the SQLite database. So we would want to make it a little bit more of uh, configurable. So this is our application and inside the application, we have a file called package.json. Inside this file, I'm going to add a section called CDS require. And under the require section, I'm going to add two configuration. One configuration, let's call it as PG for Postgres and another configuration SQLite for the SQLite database. So at runtime or at the time of running our application, we can decide which configuration do you want to use to uh, to deploy and run your application on top. So that way it becomes very, very flexible to connect to any database of your choice. So for today's session, what I've done, I've already installed a local Postgre installation in my local machine. This uh, installation process is explained in my another YouTube video, which I link with the current video. Kindly check the description where you will get the detail about how to install and set up the Postgres DB. Then ultimately you have a tool called PG admin tool. Just like if you use HANA studio, this is a tool which you as a developer can use to monitor your database. And of course you as a developer will use also the VS code development environment to build your app. That is what you're also doing. So we will go to the package JSON file. We will add a CDS required section with database configuration for SQLite, which is our current default configuration. But plus we will add also a Postgres configuration, which will connect to my local database. Now, first I will show you the local database configuration, which I have. And then I will show you how to add this configuration in the package JSON file. So first step is look at the database. Second is add the configuration and third step is to execute and test. So we will run a CDS deploy command to Postgres database of course and we will use the profile PG. PG is the profile name I'm giving for Postgre and then we do CDS watch also with that profile connecting to the Postgre database. That is what we want to achieve, we want to do. So this is the third step which we will take. So let's do step by step the entire process in the system. I will switch over back to my uh, Postgre database. So this is my Postgre SQL database as you can see. I have configured this. I have got a schema in that and currently 
if you look at the tables there are no tables in this it's empty it's running on my local machine kindly check the description of this video to find how to set up this database free of cost in your local machine for testing and uses now the database comes with database properties so you can check the server properties and it is running on a on actually your local host so let me show you the connection properties it's running local host with port number 5432 and the name of the user will be postgres and the database name is also postgres and i've given a default password as welcome one w caps so now i will use this configuration and i will configure that in our existing project so i'll switch over back to the project which we created in the last episode and here it is already running on sqlite database the first thing you need to do is you need to now add a module for postgres dependency so that we can actually run uh, the application on postgres database so it's called cap js postgres let me show you the module cap js postgres yes it's here this is the module you need to add it to your project first of all so to install it you can say npm install and then this module name this is step number one so i will come back and put that so let me just do npm install this module and you can see the module is getting added over here yeah. why is this fury giving me error i don't know should not come okay you can see it is just doing it yeah fantastic so next step is to go to package json file and add a configuration so you can see the module gets added as part of your dependencies once the installation of the module is done it will come as part of our dependency that's what system will do one semester later so you can see it is added now and we've got the dependency also added over here makes sense so what is our next step our next step is to add the configuration so we scroll down at the bottom and we add a cds section under that cds section i am going to add a section called requires and under the require section we will add two configuration the name of the configuration can be anything you want but usually it's a good practice to name sqlite with a db configuration and also name it as pg pg means postgres and that's it typical profiles we can add for different database connectivity now i will go to sqlite and i will say kind of database is sqlite i can just say credentials of this database so basically we will specify the credentials and we can specify the credentials for the database and also we will specify the type so what is the type the type will specify what is the implementation type so of course you need to specify the impl setting which will specify which module or which driver it should use to connect to database so i specify implementation setting and for postgre the driver which is used to connect is this one which we added earlier or which was added by default yes perfect and then of course inside the credentials we will give a url with the name of our db and we will specify this name of the db which was created sqlite.db that is the number one setting now similarly let's add the setting for second one we have the postgres and the driver here is postgres driver you can see which we added as a dependency just now this is the dependency just wanted to be double sure yeah and then of course we will give here the detail about our connection because we want to connect to our local database our uh, local machine has a postgre installation so we have to specify host port user password and database name so let's provide these details host port user password and database these are the different settings we will provide 
So the database and username will be same as Postgres. Password, as I mentioned, while installing the database, I gave master password as welcome one. This is okay to hard code because it's currently in your local machine for local testing. And once everything is working in local, ultimately you can deploy this to BTP, binding to SAP BTP Postgres database instance or backing service, which I will show you in the next episode. The port number is 5432. We will put here the port number and that is my setting for Postgres. So now I've got two profile. One is SQLite profile and one is Postgres profile. So if you want to run now your application and deploy your database table in the SQLite, you will use this profile. So you'll use CDS deploy dash profile SQLite. And you will see that it should deploy to the uh, SQLite database. It's not working. It says no CDS model found, which is okay because I am not in the correct directory. I need to eat the correct directory. So Anubhav BTP directory is where I need to be. Clear the screen and now try again. Yes. So let's deploy now. CDS so deploy profile SQLite. And tan -tan -tan, you can see it's done. But now let's try to do it in Postgres profile. So we will come and say Postgres. So it is now going to connect to my local Postgres database and deploy into my Postgres database. Yeah, that is what system has to do. But I've done a mistake. I think it is still deploying into the local database because that's a default profile. Yeah, the first one is a default one because I didn't give the correct profile name. You see the correct profile name is PG, not Postgres. So let's give that and I say PG, which means it will now connect using the credentials provided in, in the file to my local database over here and it's try to deploy the changes there, the tables. I press enter and now it's connecting to my local machine and there you go. It says request timeout to local host 5432 field. So there is something wrong in the connection we need to just cross check the properties it is localhost 5432 post gres let me just check 5432 localhost these are the details which we cross check and i got the reason why it's not working so this entire setting has to be inside the db so that's your profile name. Then you have to add DB settings and under that you have to add your details. So that was the, the reason of, of it not working. And here also, this whole detail has to be under the DB. Yes, that's a database configuration. So let's put that, control A, right click, format your document. We are save it. And now let's give it a try. Let's try for SQLite first. And let's see if that works. Yes, it's working. And let's try now with the profile PG. So little bit of mistakes, which you would also do during your development. So it's better you can check my source code, which I will share with all of you. Kindly check the description of this video to find this entire source code. And you can directly use it in your projects. Press enter. So it's connecting hopefully. And yes, something happened. What's that something? It's now connected to the local host 5432, but the deployment failed. And why is that? Look at this. The data value 46.22. It's not a integer data type. So I guess we have the special data in the bilinear database table for latitude and longitude. You can see these are the values. And by mistake or you know by coincidence, I have written here integer. So Postgres is doing a strict type check while inserting the data perhaps to the database table and that's where it's feeling. So perhaps I need to now change the data type to give a more accurate data type for this kind of a data. So let's put here three up to three decimals perhaps and let's do it for this as well. So I'm just changing that and let's give a try once again. So CLS command to clear the screen and try now. And there's another issue now. You can see a field with the precision three scale three must be round to an absolute value less than one. 
yeah so that is what it is telling there's another issue so maybe take a look at back at the data so we'll just go back and check the data and i what i find is for the latitude and longitude we perhaps have six digit of decimals yeah so let's come back and change it here to let's say 10 of 6 to accommodate all the values which it can support according to the values in the data sets yeah makes sense we do that and let's try one more time clear the screen now we deploy with postgres profile and voila congratulations you can see the deployment is complete and we can also run the application but before that i want to show you by going to postgres wow there you go this is my table in postgres and i can just uh, check the records also in the database by clicking on the view data all rows and you should see here the data is already inserted in my table fantastic yes cool so our next step will be to proceed further and now uh, utilize this information to run so we can say cds watch profile pg please run with the postgres profile connecting to my postgres database so it will use use the connection you can see it's using the postgres connection for the database connectivity and it starts my application so i can switch over back and if i refresh my fury application I will get the data upon Postgres database. Makes sense. So that is the benefit you get when it comes to working with the profiles. So this configuration helps you to add a local Postgres database and use the same to do the connectivity with Postgres. Wow. In the next episode, I will show you how to connect then to the Cloud Foundry database from your VS Code environment and run this entire application with cloud foundry database and finally when you deploy ultimately the application will work with the uh, work also with the uh, deployed cloud foundry database all right thank you so much once again for joining this episode with me on anuboutrainings.com for in more interesting videos like this please like share and subscribe this channel Kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will be notified for free content like this in the future. Please do share this channel in the WhatsApp group or over the email with your colleagues so they can also take advantage of this free content with anubhavtrainings.com. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Anubhav signing out. Have a nice day and goodbye.